I kind of wrote down five things that, not necessarily that I did when I was a student, but looking back, I think um, they worked for me in, in, uh, to, try to get me to where I am today and see if, if they make sense to you. Be a student and take advantage of it. You have no idea how powerful it is when you're a student. Every single place here in the medical center will open the door for you. I don't, I don't know that there's a place in the medical center that if you present yourself as a student doing your master's or your PhD and that you're interested in what they do, they will open the doors. Everybody will, and including us at St. Luke's, and I'm sure your, your uh, hospital will too. So take advantage of that. Keep an open mind. Uh, I had, uh, as mentors in school, very creative people that helped me get funded and stay funded during my, my tenure at, at school. And sometimes they gave me projects that didn't really relate to my area, didn't really relate to what I was doing. But I always say yes, and I always try to do a, a good job at it. Take advantage of the Texas Medical Center. I don't know how many of you know, but when you're a student in your master's program or in the PhD program, you can actually go to RISE, go to U of H and other, other universities and take classes there that count towards your degree. I did that a lot. Um, you, you need to work it out with the university, but I took classes at RISE for programming, for mining databases, for a lot of things that count towards your degree, uh, uh, and, and you take advantage of things that usually you don't have in your school. So. Uh, uh, keep your eyes open for those types of opportunities and again, seek real world experiences when you do those things. We choose our mentors for different reasons and we need all sorts of mentors. So, uh, and choosing your mentors is critical in getting you through the program and after the program. It is thanks to those mentors that I actually got to meet people who today are um, hired me or uh, who recommended me for, for, my, for the positions that I have. So I cannot thank enough uh, my mentors and my friends. start planning your next step at least two years in advance. So I know that for some of you are already graduating today, but some of you who are still in the program, you should be trying to present every work that you do for in class outside the classroom. Go, go show people in the hostels everywhere you can the work that you're doing. That's why your, your portfolio is very important. Let people know what your plan is. So if you're thinking about what your next step is in the next two years, make sure people know about that plan because people remember you. So those are the five points that I wanted. I wish somebody would have taken the time to, to share with me when I was a student. Be a student, take advantage of it. Keep an open mind, say yes often. Uh, take advantage of the medical center and all the real world experiences. We choose our mentors for different reasons, so seek those mentors that help you. And start planning your next steps.